You know, to get the most fun from Flight Simulator, you'll want a joystick, but you can still have lots of fun flying with the keyboard controls. First of all, to control the throttle, you press the F2 and F3 keys. Notice how when John wants to increase the power, he presses the F3 key. And to decrease the power, he presses the F2 key. It kind of makes sense that the bigger number increases power and the smaller number decreases power. And if you don't have a joystick, the numeric keypad gives you another way to control the airplane itself. Before you use the keypad, make sure NumLock is off. Now to use the keypad, just imagine an airplane on top of the keypad and think of tapping on the part of the airplane you want to move down. For instance, I want to push the right wing down for a turn to the right, so I'll tap on the 6 key. When John has tilted the wings to the bank angle he wants, he presses the 5 key to center the controls, and the airplane will stay in a bank. Notice, any time the wings are not level, the airplane will turn. To bring the left wing down, John taps on the 4 key. When the wings are level, the turn stops, and John presses the 5 key to center the controls. Tap on the 8 key, and the nose will go down, and the airplane will descend. Tap on the 2 key, and the tail will go down and the airplane will climb. The trick to controlling the airplane with the number pad is to not hold the keys down for very long. You know, the longer you hold a key down, the more the airplane will move. Now, on the other hand, one of the fun things about Flight Simulator is you don't have to hold the keys down for very long <laughs> to make the airplane do some pretty exciting things. As you can see, to fly realistically, small control inputs are the name of the game. Now, take a look at the key commands on the screen below. Then, click on the next.